Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to do a favourite brushes video because it's one that's been requested quite a lot and I've never done anything like this before and brushes is something I feel quite passionately about actually. But I've handpicked about four, five, six, seven, eight, 14 of my favourite brushes. Some I've left out because I think they're quite run in the mill and any will do almost so I've got like I've got loads and loads of brushes but these are just like my absolute favourites so I'm quite excited to, to show you these these guys how they create a face uh, I'm gonna save them right now I just used them to do my face so they're not clean but you get an idea you get an idea let's start off with the face brushes so I have five face brushes that are my all-time faves uh, I'm gonna start off with one that you'll probably already know it is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I use, I really really like this brush. I've had this brush for a long time. So most of the, some of them are new, some of them I've had for almost a wee bit too long. But this contour brush is synthetic. No it's not synthetic. <laughs> the reason I like this brush so much is because you can go between liquids and powders which is really important in my book. Uh, so what I use this for is to pack concealer underneath my eyes, uh, kind of blend that out that way. I do like it for a contour, uh, a cream contour is lovely and it's just the right shape for getting right in there. I'm a big fan of this and because I've had it for so long and you can get these from like Boots or Superdrug, don't know where you can get them in America, probably everywhere, Walmart. Love it, absolutely love it. I always find myself reaching for this. The only thing I don't like about it is the way it looks. I think it looks quite tacky and a bit, I don't know, I just don't like it. I like a real brush. And the bulky as well, I find this really bulky. I know some of the brushes go skip out at the ends. I hate them for my kit because they don't fit in any of the brush slots, so like this. Next brush is one I only have been using for the last two days. It is a Smith Cosmetics brush and it is the 118 brush. I did receive this as a present. So I've seen people on YouTube kind of state, declare when they get brushes as a present. I got this as a present. I don't think that makes me a bad person. I think it makes me a very lucky person and I'm really grateful. But um, yeah. I did receive this as a wee present and I've been using it for contouring with my bronzer for the last two days and it is stunning. I think this is animal hair, um, cruelty free though. And Smith is an American company. A little hair just fell out there. I don't like that. It's been really good, no shed down apart from that little one there. Um, and the product just sits really beautifully on the top of the brush. So it gives you just such a nice blend. And I use this with powder bronzer on top of unpowdered foundation. So sometimes brushes can go clogged up if you're doing that, but this one hasn't. So I really, really like it and I love the look of it. It looks like a an artist brush, paint brush, reminds me of school. This is the Illamasqua highlighter brush. So I've had this brush for like two years. I've had this for two years uh, and I used it, when I worked in Illamasqua, I used this every shift on like up to like 30 people in a day and I was constantly washing it, constantly kind of getting the product off. Um, completely synthetic so you don't need to worry about cruelty free or not. I love this brush for buffing on my foundation so I'll use this brush most days to put on my foundation but also if you want to use your powder, pressed powder highlighter, your pressed highlighter, that is how I get my highlighter so strong. So I didn't use this today though, I've got another brush to show you for that but this brush is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I've got I think about eight of these. Not eight. So it's from Illamasqua. You can get this from Elamaska's website or Elamaska counters. I can't, everyone, even people that come into my salon, they say, what's the best foundation brush? And I'm like, this, this one, you need this. Next one is a new one to me. Um, this was a present as well. This is the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer. So this brush, it looks like it could be animal hair, probably is. It is so soft. And I've not been using it for concealer, I've been using it for powder underneath my eyes. So see just a, a powder keeps everything in place. Because it's super soft, it doesn't shed and it doesn't disrupt your concealer. So see if you just kind of pat it on like this. It just keeps everything in place. But I can imagine, see for concealer, that would just be beautiful. I would maybe use that for contour sometimes as well. It's very small, but 
if you've got a bit of extra time, using that with a cream contour would be really, really nice. But yeah, I really like this. This is the Soft Blend Concealer F64 brush. The last face brush I've got to show you is a fan brush. I have had this in my brush pot for about four years and I always didn't know what it was. I was just like, I have no idea what that is. I think I've tried to do a powder with it and stuff. Um, and then one day I was watching Amrezy on Snapchat and she put a highlighter on this and it looks fantastic. I got a bit emotional when I was watching I was like, oh, how? So the next day I picked this up, put my highlighter on and it was the truth. It was fantastic. So you just scrub your highlighter like this. I'm sure you might have seen me do this in a video. You get your highlighter and you do this and then you just pop it on and that's how you get to be the shiniest. If you are at all into your makeup, you will have an abundance of eyeshadow brushes. I very rarely use a real little eyeshadow brush. I don't like them. I don't think that they put product on the way I like. I don't like packing on product unless I'm doing an all over black smoky eye, which is few and far between, to be honest. First brush is my only brush from this brand, which makes me quite sad. Um, and I bought this at IMATS in London, but you can get them from the Makeup Geek website, Sugar Pill website, obviously, because it's a Sugar Pill brush. This is the Sugar Pill Tapered Blending and Crease Brush. It is so beautiful. Synthetic, animal cruelty free. Animal cruelty free? Cruelty free. This brush is really, really beautiful for blending out. So see if you love those kind of buffed out, big, like smoky looks that are really, really tapered off into the distance this is the best so it uh, just i just love it i think i use it every day but i never really use too much product on it i use this more for blending out products so sugar pill tapered and blending tapered blending and crease brush love that next one is another illamasqua i've had this for two years as well this is the illamasqua blending brush so it really reminds me of the sugar pill one actually it's synthetic as well and i really like this for same reasons but it's a little bit smaller so it's really good for working on the crease and building up colour there. It's also really good for blending out underneath the eye and I use one of these brushes for concealer around um, to blend out the brows and to blend out any eyeshadow as well so because these are synthetic they, you really can't do anything with them so massive fan of that brush. Next is my little Zoeva collection of favourites. So I've got these three. I told you they were dirty. I told you they were dirty. Okay, so I've got a kind of long bristle soft crease brush, a soft definer brush, which is a little shorter but it's fuller, and then I've got a little tiny petite eye blender, which is really, really firm, really, really firm, um, and it's one of the kind of dual fibres, if you can see. So the first one is the soft crease. This, again, is just beautiful for blending out, and if you are any good at makeup or you love makeup, you will know how important blending is. Blend forever, boys, whatever. It's the 221 brush. I just always reach for this brush no matter what. I think I've used it to, I use it to kind of pack on colour and um, just with the ends. I do like using a fluffier brush for that, even though it goes everywhere. I do my eye makeup first so I can clean up any mess afterwards. So this brush is so essential in your kit. The next one I mentioned is the Soft Definer, which is the 227 brush. This is lovely for buffing out. So say you've got colour underneath and you want to pack it on. I think this, this one's good for getting a higher colour intensity. The shorter and the denser your brush, the more colour payoff you're going to get from your product than the longer and wispier your brush. If your brush is long and wispy, that's just for blending and everything out. So this one's really good for packing on colour. Love it to bits. The last one from Zoeva is the 223 Petite Eye Blender. Now this one here is super small and dense so I love this for putting loads of colour underneath which I love doing. I really like it when a smoky eye goes right round my eye and I like it for building up colour if I'm doing a cut crease or if I've got like a really black eye going on. I get all my Zoeva from Beauty Bay. Those brushes are like like six pounds ninety five each, and on Beauty Bay it's great because if you spend like a certain amount of money, you get free next day shipping. I think the last order I got was just this week, and I ordered it on Monday, and it came on Tuesday. It, it's great, it's so good, and you get a little present. I got a little beauty blender as a present, a fake one, obviously, <laughs> not the real one. More eye brushes. These are teeny, teeny, tiny. 
These are amazing for crease work and for blending it into the eye. They are Smith brushes. There is a 230, which is this one here, and there is a 247. So the difference between the 230 and 247 is the 230 is shorter and denser, and the 247 is longer and wispier. So remember what I said, this one's good for depositing colour, and this one's good for blending it out. Okay, so for my eyebrows, today and for the last like week, I've been trying a different product, which is in a kind of pencil form. It's Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I actually really like it because it's a little bit more natural. I never thought I'd say that, and I'm really, really sorry to let you down, but it makes me feel good about life, having a bit of a softer brow. I'm liking the same person, am I? I'm so sorry. So for the real Jamie, for me in real life, I love a strong, really powerful brow. I would use Dip Brow and I use that with the MAC 208 brush. I've had this brush for so long and I bought about seven other ones of these. I use them all the time. I'm obsessed. It is just the teeniest little angle brush. Um, I'm sure it's animal hair, I'm sure it's goat hair, but it cleans up beautifully and it works really good with the kind of tacky product that Dip Brow is. So I completely fall in love with this. When I don't have this brush and I have to do my brows with Dip Brow, I completely freak out and I'm like, guys, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. This is fa fabulous for brow gels. Whenever I do my brow, no matter how light or dark or what product I'm using, I will always go around the perimeter with concealer just to kind of clean up and make them stand out a little bit more. So uh, the brush I use every time for that is the Illamasqua Angle Brush. So Illamasqua, like we said, all synthetic brushes. Um, the thing I love about this is it's just so short. It's a really little dumpy brush and it has a really nice angle but it is the sharpest little brush ever. So it works really really well with cream products which is why I love it with concealer. So not only would I use this for around my eyebrows, I would clean up my flicks with them, clean up my lip liner, everything. I love it. I'm obsessed. And last but not least is the brush that changed my life. With winged eyeliner, I enjoy using a gel. So using a gel eyeliner is really really sturdy. I really like the Lamasca, that's my favourite. But the brush that I use is the Zoeva 316 Classic Liner. If I'm honest, it looks like a really really long, thin, tiny lip brush. With your winged eyeliner, the most difficult thing is to get the end nice and thin. I think everyone can kind of get a semi-straight line. Maybe getting them symmetrical is quite difficult as well, but that just honestly takes practice. Um, I am obsessed with how tiny this brush can go. When you've got your gel, make sure that you kind of work your brush into your gel liner. And then when you're doing your flick, I always do the kind of base of my eye and then I'll flick it up. And because this is so tiny, you can get such a lovely little tapered end, which I'm obsessed with. I, th I don't think I could go out with a flick if it was like a blunt end. I think I would, <laughs> I would stay in that day. That brush has changed my life. I can get the same style of flick on myself, on my clients, no problem which is good because if I couldn't do that, then I would have to quit my job. Because that wouldn't be very good, would I? And that is all my brushes. I could I could probably bin the rest of my brushes and just have these and be really, really happy. Um, the only thing I don't like is none of them match. That is really bad for my OCD. They're all freaky and different, but that's fine. They're my little misfit bunch, my little misfit family. So one last thing before I am uh, go, cleaning your brushes. So I've spent a fortune on fancy brush cleaners from MAC and Estee Lauder and things like that. And fair enough, they do work really well. They get the product off really quick, which is good for if you're working on clients and you need to be like speedy. I saw on Dominique and Samantha's Instagram that they found this soap and they were like, this is the best brush cleaner, you need this in your life, it is majestic, it is the dream. And I was like, well that's all very well and good but you are from Canada so well, Dominique's not, I think Dominique's from America. And I was like, yeah well, where am I going to get this? <laughs> Hello. One day I was in town and I went into American Apparel to get myself some like a wee body suit, like something, something nice, we treat for we treat for me. And I looked down and I, I think the cashier woman got up your fright because I was like, what is this? I was like, did you sell this? And she was like, uh -huh. and I was like, how much is it? And I didn't even care. I was like, is it 20 quid? That's fine, I'll take it. Four pounds. 
four pounds for a big huge bar of soap and I have used this to clean my all my brushes like four times and it doesn't even look like I've used it at all so this is Dr. Dr. Broner's Magic Soaps. You can get it, it comes in a kind of almost looks like a medicine wrapper that's white and blue. Um, like I said, you can get it from American Apparel. I don't know about it over in the States and in Canada and things like that. Literally two wee sweeps of this thing and I've got my Sigma brush mitt and I'll kind of go round and the product's gone and they're clean and it took me two seconds and see when they dried they all felt amazing without conditioner or anything so if you're looking for a new brush cleaner go and get this soap. I hope you guys like this video and learn something about my brushes. If you like these styles of videos please let me know because I have lots of stuff with lots of favourite things so if you would like me to do more videos like this please let me know and I will see you next week with a makeup tutorial. Bye!